As the fallout over the Facebook data leak to Cambridge Analytica continues, it has now been revealed that Facebook secretly went to hospitals and asked for the social media account information of people who were staying in the hospital. Some of the most vulnerable people in the, in the facility, Facebook asked to receive their personal information. Facebook has asked several U.S. major hospitals to share anonymized data about the patients, such as illness and prescription info, for a proposed research project. Facebook was intending to match it up with user data it had collected and help the hospital figure out which patients might need special care or treatment. While the data shared would obscure personally identifiable information, such as the patient's name, Facebook proposed using a common computer science technique called hashing to match individuals who existed in both sets. Facebook says the data would have been used only for research conducted by the medical community. Now, this project was placed on hold after the entire Cambridge Analytica scandal opened up. You can understand why people who are upset about their data being leaked to a private company would suddenly might be a little bit more concerned about something like this. Uh, they put it on hiatus and said that they were working on other important work, including, including doing a better job of protecting people's data. The project has raised new concerns about the massive amount of data Facebook collects about its users and how this data can be used in ways users never expected. The issue of patient consent did come up in the early discussions, one of the people said. Critics have attacked Facebook in the past for doing research on users without their permission. I, for one, think this is something that is highly questionable. I mean, of course, there would be tremendous benefits to collecting information about medical conditions and that you could put them together in a database. It could possibly even uh, be along the lines of some kind of uh, predictive diagnosis, etc. But can you trust Facebook with it? I mean, don't get this idea that somehow Facebook cares about people or cares about sick people or dying people. They care about money. They're not doing this out of the, the goodness of their hearts. They're collecting your data to be used to make money. And I think we'd be foolish if we think that the data would just stop there. Of course, they're going to use it for, look, look, look what they just did with Cambridge Analytica. So I don't think Facebook should be trusted with the medical information of some of the society's most vulnerable people. People who are, in in fact, lying there dying. And yeah, there's going to be people who claim, oh, well, see, here's the free market, you know, getting things done to to help people and to make things better. Or as Jank Uger likes to call it, the, the amoral capitalism. Well, the same thing could be done under socialism, but in fact, could be done even more efficiently and more easily. But in the end, the issue is, can we trust Facebook? And I think that Facebook has proven that, no, we cannot trust them for what they have done. Mark Zuckerberg is not a guy you can trust with your personal information. Look at everything that has happened so far. Uh, people's user information being handed over to Cambridge Analytica, uh, doing uh, experiments on people just to see what their reactions will be without their permission, as you know, I previously mentioned in this video. So can we trust Zuckerberg? Absolutely not. And I think Facebook should be highly criticized for this move, considering that they only really want to steal patient data, which we should not believe for a second, would be only used for medical research purposes, despite what they claim. Facebook, it seems, gets scarier and scarier every day. Thank you for watching. If you like this program, then please head over to my Patreon page and set up a monthly donation. It's your donations that keep this program running. Also, if you would like, please rate, comment, subscribe, and share in various social media.